Hello and good evening. It's Grace here and welcome to another daily dose of our live Facebook shares. So we are on day seven and I hope you've been enjoying all the past and previous content that Charlotte and I have been sharing. Um, all the content is all, um, it's all there to spare you on into building a business that works and a business that can grow. So make sure that you do look back at our past videos and just take um, take a bit of inspiration from it and try to, to factor in some of the insights into your own business. So after the 10 days, we're going to pull together all the content to deliver a free online training. Please do click on the link above this video so that you can register and uh, gain, sorry, and reserve your free place to the online training as well. So tonight, tonight we've got quite a, a, a well, an exciting topic actually, and it's one that Charlotte and I particularly love and are passionate about. So it's all about why running a business without cultivating an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset that just does not work. So firstly, having and cultivating an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset, sorry, ugh, a bit tongue tied today, is one of the biggest keys to success and something that, as I said, Charlotte and I both feel passionate about. As they say, success is all about 80% mindset and 20% 20 skills. So make sure you remember that, 80% mindset and 20% skills. This is one of the frameworks for success and should be as much a part of your business strategy going forward as anything else that you start to employ in your business. So what a lot of people tend to do is that they, um, they forget to develop their mindset. So they're so focused on trying to get their business idea, trying to bring it into reality, that they forget that they need to have the mindset as well in order to truly be successful in their business. Um, and they just believe that running the business is enough. But actually having that positive mindset, that is the, the secret weapon because that's actually, that's going to be there constantly taking even when lows, your trials and tribulations in your business, having that positive mindset is what is going to pick you up again from the floor and get you right back into your business and let you reconnect with your why. So tonight I'm going to share six top tips with you as to why it's so important to adopt and cultivate an entrepreneurial mindset when growing your business. So top tip number one is all about starting from where you are now. As an entrepreneur, um, in order to be successful, you cannot obsess with the past. Just let the past go. If you had any difficulties or challenges, just let it go. Today is a brand new day. You've got a clean slate. And today is the day where you can truly look forward and start to prepare your business. So please just let go and release all past challenges, all past um, prohibitions, um, that you may have and just keep sparing on and looking forward. Top tip number two is all about developing routines. This will help you to keep more focus. So routines are um, activities that are done on a regular basis. And it's something that I truly, truly encourage. I find that um, in order to uh, feel good about the day, I have to wake up feeling good in the morning and just really having a positive mindset. And I always apply the miracle morning. It's so fantastic. And it really just helps to refresh your mind and make sure that you're, you're, you're in a positive tone to take on the rest of the day. So I tend to read 10 pages of a good book to spare me on. I tend to meditate, listen to some good music, and it just really reawakens me, reinvigorates me, and makes me feel alive. And that's, that sets the tone for the rest of the day, and it makes sure that I can apply myself to my business going forward. Top tip number three is all about rem remembering your network equals your net worth. Again, like we said in some of our um, previous uh, Facebook Live shares, you have to surround yourself with the right networks. When you look out and see most successful people, you'll find that they're hanging out with other successful people. It's because that they're on the same wavelength. They're, they're sharing the same, um, they're going through the same sort of journey together, whether it be on different paths. Um, they just, so they can feed off and bounce off each other as well. 
So make sure that you do start to surround yourself with good and positive networks because that is what is going to spur you on. And you will soon see that in due course, your, um, your net worth will start to reflect that as well. Top tip number four is all about being willing to fail forward. So you need to have a mindset to embrace failing your way to success. Now, there's many entrepreneurs that we know that have um, gone through hoops and hurdles just to get to where they are now. Um, in fact, Thomas Edison, when he invented the, uh, the light bulb or electricity, you know, he went through many attempts. I, I can't remember the exact number of attempts he went through just to get that winning um, recipe and remedy for success. So just like him um, and others like and other entrepreneurs, please do remember that you need to fail forward. And, you know, failing is not a bad thing. Everyone fails at some point or another in their life. So just embrace it and just make sure that you do realize that success is always at the end of that. Top tip number five is all about stepping outside your comfort zone and embracing fear. Everything you want is outside your comfort zone. So you must make sure that you're taking those daily steps every day just to make sure that you're doing something which scares you because that is the only way that you will grow and it's all about personal development. So if you're um, scared of presenting in front of large groups or presenting in a one-to-one -one situation, please do make sure that you, you readily start to put yourselves in that sort of scenario and situation. Um, and then you'll feel so much better for it because you would have overcome that challenge and then you'll be on to the next one. And as you keep doing this, you'll find that you're growing and growing, growing. And that too is going to be reflected in your business as well. And the last top tip I'll be sharing with you today is top tip number six, which is all about investing in your personal development. It's all about investing in you all the time so that you can just keep on growing in your business. So whether it be investing in a coach or mentor, investing in network events that you, um, you wish to attend, which are presenting a relevant topic that will help you grow your business, please do make sure that you do take the time out or try and apply some sort of finances towards just investing in that. Because these are all factors that mean that you're putting yourself first and you're putting your business first. Um, and that's something that Charlotte and I, we readily do all the time and we, we encourage you to do so. So there you have it. There's my top, uh, top six tips that I've shared uh, all about cultivating an entrepreneurial mindset. I hope you have learned something from tonight's Facebook Live Share. And again, please do sign up to our free online training using the link above. And I look forward to seeing you next Tuesday. Have a good evening.